Good morning and welcome to week six of JS1 Digital Mapping Winter Term 2020. Uh, first things first, just real quickly, uh, I wanted to point out to you and make sure everyone understands that um, when I post these overviews, they are simply that, they're brief overviews, and you really need to get into the content that you find under content. There's a new module. You, you know this, right? But there's a new module posted every week, as you can see, and we have different weeks. Week 5 uh, was posted a little bit late, and I apologize for that. Um, to that extent, uh, I'm going to move back the due date for um, activity um, activity three, move that back one day to uh, February 16th. Um, and again, last week we had um, attribute tables and geodatabases. Um, and also, uh, in terms of content, here's our here's our week five content. We had a uh, presentation on attribute tables and geodatabases, and then uh, the laws of thought. Uh, I'm, I'm gifting you a book uh, by George Boole, Boole of Boolean, uh, from 1854. Uh, and this is a first edition of the laws of thought by Boole that um, is the first edition if you were to uh, buy this book on Advanced Book Exchange. There is a copy on Advanced Book Exchange right now that's uh, priced at $8,000 for the first edition. So this is a uh, an excellent scan, a PDF, of the um, first edition of, of Boole's, Boole's work. And so if you, you know, if anybody ever mentions a Boolean or um, asks you about Boole, you can go straight to the source because you have a copy of the first edition of his book. It's only 450 pages, so uh, there's quite a lot there, actually. It's pretty, it's pretty meaty. It's actually very readable. Um, but that was week five. In week six, we're looking at um, spatial, spatial analysis. And so we're taking our, our first look at uh, spatial, spatial analysis, getting an overview. And we've actually been doing spatial analysis since week one when we, when we started with thematic mapping. And so um, in this brief overview, I go through some of the categories of analysis and what counts as analysis and how is it, how is it organized logically in um, in our understanding of what we what we can and will do with uh, geographic information systems and then there's a brief article here that um, takes on the question of what is a geospatial analyst a brief article that was published on um, LinkedIn that uh, that massive uh, social media uh, outlet so take a look at that. It's a real quick read, and I think it'll give you a, a good context for what a geospatial analyst is and what geospatial analysts do. Geospatial analysts are, that's the biggest job category in GIS. There are hundreds of thousands of geospatial analysts working in the United States now. So uh, that's week six, and um, you know, just just last week, we had um, quiz two, which was graded, week five, um, and also activity two, which was uh, graded, turned in, graded, and um, there's, there's feedback posted on activity two. This week, we have a number of things coming up. Activity three, as I mentioned, I've moved that back, the due date. If you've turned it in already, um, that's that's great. Uh, if you wanted to go back and take another look at it and maybe do a second edition, that's fine. Go ahead and put that in, in the submission folder if you have any changes you want to make to it after thinking about it a bit more. Um, go ahead and put that in the submission folder. And, uh, you know, I always look at the latest uh, version 
that's in the submission folder. I always do that, and I always accept if you have first edition, second edition of you know a submission, that's totally fine. I always look at the latest on-time submission uh, for uh, for each of these each of these activities and all of the work that you're doing. Uh, this week we have a number of things coming up. We do have our quiz three coming up on Monday. This is the first um, notice of that, although it's been on the calendar and on the syllabus since then. So on Monday, the seventeenth. Um, and again, we do have activity three due on Sunday now, not Saturday. So we push that back a day. And also on Sunday is it due is final project part one. Um, there's uh, one of those in, okay, one out of 27 of those that are in the submissions folder. So don't procrastinate on this. It's not trivial. And you're your final project part one, this will be getting done a substantial portion of your final project, which is due during uh, finals week. Uh, it, you'll get a substantial part of this done. And, it, and it's also necessary for you to work on activity four. Okay. And so activity four will be coming up uh, next week. And next week we do a bit more on um, this is. Next week is week seven. We're in week six now. Uh, in week seven, we have um, another presentation in content. And again, you can find these presentations and the real meat of the course uh, in these weekly modules that are posted under content. It's not the overview. Again, as I point out, these are brief overviews. So. In week seven, we have you know uh, another uh, look at spatial analysis. Again, you can't see it yet. Another look at spatial analysis and um, interpolation, uh, interpolation of Z surfaces, and uh, some three-dimensional modeling using a big module that we use in ArcGIS called ArcScene, um, and. We'll also be starting on Activity 4 next week because Activity 3 is due this week. Uh, now move back to Sunday. Okay, Sunday the 16th. Busy, busy weekend, right? Uh, but, you know, this is, this is what we do in the quarter system. So, um, you know, things slow down a bit in semesters. You have more time to do things, you have more time to get into the depth of, of courses and that sort of thing. Uh, so, week six, GIS 1, digital mapping, winter 2020.